everybody. It's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team, and happy 2021 to you. Uh, this is our first video of the year, and it's going to be a quick one, uh, but it was something that came out as a request. And um, just stay tuned because we're going to have quite a few videos coming out over the next couple weeks. So I hope you're excited. We have a lot of uh, great things to share. But uh, today is going to be really quick, short, sweet, simple. And uh, what we're going to do is talk about the phone book search filter for cloud registered devices. So um, the, the thing to talk about here is quite simply that uh, when it comes to devices, we do have some customers that um, have maybe um, users incorporated or rooms incorporated. And when they go to the Touch 10 or up to a board and they go to search for a user or a room, there may be a use case where you don't want the search filter to bring up every device or every person that you have uh, in your organization. So all I'm going to do here is quite simply show you how by default we search everything but you can very easily go to either the device itself or go to Control Hub uh, and even do a bulk configuration and change your devices to filter out uh, only rooms or only people um, or just leave it at auto to be able to search everything. So let's just go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna bring up my uh, desktop here. Uh, you'll see that I've got Control Hub open and uh, what we have here is, uh, I'm gonna just go to my trusty WebEx Edge board. Uh, I'm gonna click on it and um, you know, I've logged into Control Hub here, obviously. I'm going to go to my device configurations. I just want to show you here, first of all, because this is the easiest way to do it. Um, you'll scroll down uh, to User Interface. And if you look here at Phone Book, there is the default search filter option. Now, default is all, and that would be what you would follow uh, you know, for everybody right now. But let's say that you only wanted it to search for people. You would quite simply change this to people. Or if you only wanted it to do rooms, this would be the SIP addresses of the rooms or devices that you have, including the ones that are uh, filtered over from the device connector if you have some SIP URIs. You would just say rooms, click on save. That has been set. And now when you go to that device and you bring it up and you go to search for uh, a user, a user will no longer uh, appear as an option for them to call. So if you only want them to be able to call other rooms, um, set it to rooms and you'll have that uh, as a feature. Um, real quickly, just to show you, I'm going to go here. This is actually the, uh, this is a different codec. This is a codec pro that I have over here, but you'll notice that I'm under settings and I go back to that same area, user interface, and here's the phone book, default search filter. So here I can change it to people or rooms. Same thing that I did uh, in Control Hub. Apply that and that will also um, work that way. Now obviously the advantage here is, and I've done another video with this, we're going to do some more, um, but uh, so for example, if I wanted to choose these two devices, I can now do a bulk config and hit edit devices, device configurations, and I can go back down here to my user interface. Go to phone book, change it to rooms. Sorry, not that. Okay. Oh, sorry, my uh, bar came up here. Lovely, lovely, lovely Mac OS. All right, so here I've got my two rooms. Uh, this is uh, the default so uh, search filter value is going to be rooms. I'm going to hit apply. And there we go. And um, these were done, both these devices, success close and now if I go back to let's say the pro here the one we did not do and I go and I look at my device configurations come down here to user interface phone book default search filter you'll see it's set to rooms so again quick and easy one for you just wanted to start off the year light give you guys a, a neat little feature to show because a lot of people uh, did not know about this one so uh, comment down below. Let us know if there's any features or things that you'd like to see. Um, and uh, stay tuned for some of the new stuff that we have coming. Uh, appreciate everybody. And I uh, hope you guys have a great 2021. And we'll see you soon.